Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics, Queen Angela. That's right, another important Princess of Power character finally comes to the Classics toy line. So let's check her out. As you can see, she comes in the standard Masters of the Universe Classics blister card packaging, fully showcasing the action figure within, and complete with that Princess of Power sticker right there on the front of the blister bubble. The back of that box showcases a selection of other figures from the Classics line, and down below that, we get ourselves a brand new bio for Queen Angela. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at Angela outside of the packaging. So right away you can see that the Four Horsemen and Mattel have continued the theme of basing the Princess of Power ladies mostly off of the design from the Filmation cartoon series. And so far along the way I have definitely felt that that was the correct move to make, especially with Angela here. She was an important character in that cartoon series, being the mother of Glimmer, and I really think they did a fantastic job of capturing the look of the character as she appeared in the animated series. Looking at that head sculpt, you can see she has a beautiful face. This of course is the face of a mother, but also has a lot of beauty behind it. And the hair sculpt on this is tremendous. You can see the way it's all pulled back there, has a really great blonde hair tone to it, and all of the paintwork on the face is done nice and clean, for the most part. As you can tell, on the upper left portion of her lip, on my particular figure, they kind of painted out of the lines a little bit, so it kind of makes her lip look a little fatter than it should, but it's really only noticeable if you look at it right up close, and it's one of those things where I'm hoping that it's just on my specific figure. The rest of the character's outfit is also designed as it appeared in the animated series. You can see she's got this really nice two-tone pink collar that comes up almost all the way to her hairline there. And this is really nice because it's actually a separate piece that is glued on over the main buck. The torso itself is all fully sculpted, so that's non-removable or anything like that on this figure. Does feature a really nice paint job featuring pinks, sort of this silverish blue, and even the little gem right there on her bodice has a really nice metallic blue paint job. And then when we go down the figure, there is one very noticeable thing about this. You'll notice that the bottom portion of her leotard is actually glued to look like a form-fitted leotard, rather than being that triangular cut skirt that we've seen on so many of the other Princess of Power females before this. I love this, and I really hope this is a trend that we continue to see moving forward with any other females we get that are supposed to be wearing that more leotard-like outfit. Down below that, the legs are done in sort of a nice kind of baby blue color there, and then the boots are in that same pink color. And one thing that's really neat is, while the figure is mostly designed after her filmation look, things like the boots have some extra details on them, which come straight off of the vintage action figure, which I really like. And for the most part, this figure is painted very nicely, bright and colorful. The only other little smudge that I have to point out is this little paint blotch that is on her lower right leg, which unfortunately won't scratch off. Again, hoping this is just my particular sample that has these paint mistakes and this isn't going to be something we see across the board. And then we've got to take a look at Angela's most iconic element being those large wings that are sprouting off of her back. These are very nicely done with a beautiful sculpt that really gives detail to every single little feather that is sticking off of her back. It also has this beautiful paint job where the wings are white but they've got this blue shading in them that really makes all of those sculpted details stand out. The wings are gorgeous and have the ability to articulate, which we'll take a look at in detail in just a bit, but it's really cool to see the wings all the way spread out. That wingspan measures 13 inches across, so pretty seriously cool little wingspan she's got there. It is also worth noting that these wings are shared from the DC Universe Classics Hawk Girl figure released earlier from Mattel. I do find this interesting because in the past, Sharing parts from the DC Universe Classics line was a bit of a no-no, but maybe since that line is over, it's not such a big deal. And I don't really mind that the wings are shared, because they are a beautiful sculpt, and they fit just fine with Angela here. Alright my friends, let's go ahead and take a closer look 
at Queen Angela. Let's go ahead and run down the articulation on this figure here. First things first, I do want to kind of talk about that little halo there above the head. Um, this obviously is a direct nod to the vintage action figure, but one thing that's so nice, as I mentioned, it's easy to remove that. As you can see, it's just on a nice little peg that's on the back of the wings there. And it's a very solid hold too. So you can pop that on or you can easily remove it. I'm going to remove it just for the sake of running down the articulation with you guys here. So the head's on the standard kind of joint, which allows her to look left and right. Um, it is worth noting that her hair kind of comes over the collar sculpt there, and it's a bit of a softer plastic, but it is going to hinder the articulation just a little bit with turning her head left and right. But otherwise, it's very standard motion. we got those ball joints at the shoulders. The arms can go upwards, forwards, backwards, swivels of the bicep standard joints at the elbow. You can see very tight joints too, which is really nice. And then you got your swivel at the wrist there. You do have the waist cut articulation. The skirt piece is made of that softer plastic, but as I mentioned, is glued down on this figure to kind of um, make it look like the um, leotard type piece that she wore. So that's very cool. And as you can see, the articulation still functions very nicely. Legs can go outwards, forwards and backwards. It is gonna hinder her motion to sit just a little bit. As you can see, kind of gets in the way since it's glued down. Um, so it's not too bad though. And you can still get her to sitting on like a horse or something like that if you want to. You've also got those swivels at the top of the thighs. You got your standard joints at the knees. You have no ankle pin showing and really nice and tight ankle joints. You can see that there. Works really well so her ankles are not loose and she has no problem standing. So that is gonna bring us around to the wings on the back. Um, like I said, these are the same wings that we've already seen in the DC Universe Classics line with Hawk Girl. So if you're familiar with Hawk Girl or even the Hawk Man figure, you pretty much know how this works. You can see she's got this extra kind of pin piece that is sticking off of her back. Um, it is glued on so it's non-removable. This has got like a pin going through that's made of the same translucent plastic as the Halo. Um, it's not really meant to be removed. I guess if you really wanted to work at it, you could probably pop the wings off there, but it's not meant to be removed. But there is some nice articulation there and it's very tight as you can see. So it's not too loose. It doesn't flail around or anything like that. And this will allow you to get the wings folded backwards or all the way flush up against the back of her arms there. In addition, we have these little pegs up here at the tops of the wings that allow you to spread the wings out for a very nice wingspan. And the wings are made of a nice stiff plastic, so they don't feel cheap, they're not too flimsy, they're very sturdy, very durable, and with that posability there, you can get some really neat little poses out of your Queen Angela figure. So aside from her awesome wings, Angela also includes one weapon accessory being this really cool sword. The sword is done in a nice sturdy plastic and it's got a beautiful paint job being two different colors of a metallic silver. The sword can be held in either one of her hands since she has two gripping hands and makes for some really awesome poses. Speaking of awesome poses, Angela here is certainly a figure that will benefit from a flight stand if you happen to have one. Uh, when you get her posed on any sort of flying stand like this, you can really pull off some awesome poses with her wings spread out, making it look like she's soaring over the rest of your figures. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Angela standing alongside another action figure from the Princess of Power lineup, specifically being her daughter, Glimmer. One thing I noticed while putting these two side by side, she's a little bit shorter than Glimmer, which is a bit odd because in the cartoon series, Glimmer was depicted as being much shorter. Uh, this actually isn't a problem with Angela as much as it seems to be a problem with Glimmer, who was a very tall action figure. Because if we stand Angela alongside another figure such as Sweet Bee here, you can see that they're about the same height. So Glimmer is the taller of the bunch. So not the fault of Angela, but putting her alongside her daughter is a bit weird because she's so much shorter than her. Alright guys, it's comparison time. Here is a look at Queen Angela standing alongside her vintage figure counterpart. You can see the massive difference in the design elements between these two, but you can also see the similarities such as that little halo that's on the back of the wings there.
So there you go, my friends, a look at the Masters of the Universe Classics Queen Angela. Overall, I really like this figure. Now, my specific figure had a few paint flaws, but as I already stated, I'm hoping that's just a problem with my particular figure and is not something we're going to see across the board because I don't usually get little sloppy paint jobs like that on these particular figures. So fingers crossed everybody else's will come nice and clean because she really is a gorgeous sculpt and I absolutely love the wingspan on this figure. It really makes her stand out as something special in that lineup of Princess of Power action figures. I'd like to give a special thanks to Mattel for sending along this figure early to give us a chance to get a good look at her here. This figure is part of the 2015 Club Eternia subscription and will be available on MattyCollector.com on April 16th, 2015. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.